Yeah, kicking it old school. Some little bit of country, which I'm not anywhere near a country fan, but there are a few songs I like. But uh, I'm going to play the opening of Anime Friday, and then we're going to get back into Valhalla, which is something I haven't done since September of 2017. So it'll be the continuation of the story thus far, and, you know, just mainly chilling, having a few drinks, because, uh, you know, it's that time again, man. Anyway, uh, let's do the opening, and I'll get right into it. Okay. Yep. <clears throat> that was Hank Williams Jr. and Alan Jackson with the uh, family traditions and Papa Top again. Whoa, mouse, what's going on? My mouse is drunk. Why is this language select? Come on, I've played this game before. What's going on? Uh oh, what's happening? Yeah. So most every other game I stream, if I do smart capture with my uh, with XSplit, it gets the game. But for whatever reason, this one is I have to capture the game. I don't remember what the volume settings I used for this were, but I'm gonna turn it up because the music's so goddamn good in this game. It may be too loud though. Holy shit, welcome back to this, huh? Yeah, Cyberpunk Bart's ending action. The last time I played this game, like I said, was 2017. It was one of the first Anime Friday games, actually. So it's kind of nice to co go back to return to form, so to speak. Man, I don't know why this opened is such a tiny fucking window for me. Alright, so I clearly bought what Jill wanted last time because she says she's satisfied with herself. Or pleased with herself. How much money? Oh. Wow. Um, it's been so long since I played this. God. Let me see. Let me adjust the audio level before I really get into it. Turn this up a little bit. So, well, I mean, other than the fact that I never finished this and it's totally worth it because it's such a good game, a relatively unknown game, well, I don't know, I, I feel like maybe now people know about it, but uh, in the year 2020, which is not too far off now, uh, there, the sequel is coming out. That's not really, se well, I guess it's a sequel. It's, it's a sequel that's not really related to this, I don't think too much, but it's called Nirvana. <laughs> it's called Valhalla spelled equally as, you know, cryptic, 
but um, I can't wait for that. I'm really excited. And supposedly this game's coming to the Switch, so... Nickel and Dime. DLC underwear. Oh yeah, so last time the bank got attacked where Say was, the White Knight and the Cat Girl came into the bar and was like paying money to uh, pay money to um, fuck Jason Alexander from Seinfeld. <laughs> He's a detective or whatever. I'm trying to remember everything that happened last time. Fired. Uh, shit went down, that's all I know. Um, how much money do I actually need? Men prefer Christmas cakes. This game's always nice, because the only difficult aspect to it is just a shit ton of reading, which... Actually, let me turn this down a little bit more. I probably won't be reading like I normally do tonight, just because I'm I'm in chill mode. I've had a few beers and I'm still drinking, so it's a fire moly tradition. Christmas cake. Oh, this is a colloquialism or euphemism. Age 26 or above, her regarded as undesirable. Just like a Christmas cake. Who doesn't like a mature woman, says Todd Howard at 19. I have all the necessary experience already, and plus, I'm so tired of spoiled, immature girls doing stupid shit. Christmas what? Yeah, this is coming to Switch, which is nice, but I'm kind of wondering, like, how is it going to be... I have a sudden urge to hug her. Uh, I don't understand how this is going to work out, necessarily, because there's not going to be a mouse control, so I guess you'll have to use, like, Joy-Cons or whatever. Also, I think I made her room as crazy as it is because there's, like, a some sort of achievement for it. Mascot. Camo Tan. Likes Musashi Battleship. Tactical. God, alright, let's just go to work. I gotta get back in the swing of this. I know this story gets kind of crazy, like some- I mean, obviously shit's going down, but I think even more shit was- is gonna happen. Anyway, we're back! Oh, hey, it's Gil! Oh, hello, Jill! In that cage? <laughs> I brought my cat. Cat! Did I hear Yasunori Kato was in the bar? What? I'll make him eat the Kanto earthquake. I'll borrow his cap! They throw no evil on him. On me. On me, OG here? Boss, what the fuck? Didn't you say you brought Kato to the bar? My cat. Cat! Oh, that's even better. Hey, Four. So cute. Why'd you bring him? I heard some apartments in my building were being raided. I don't have anything suspicious, but you never know, so I'd rather have him here, at least today. Oh, well. I'd say something about the health regulations, but we already had a pack of corgis here. Do you want me to take care of him in my office, please? It's not like you're begging me. Sure, but he's a tiny bit shy, so... Alright, Ford, let's go to my office. I think she didn't hear me. Say, Gil, how, how do you always come so early? I live close by, and I'm totally shrouded in mystery, brah. Terrible. Hmm, let me turn on my headset. 
God, I just between Final Fantasy VIII and VI, VIII just blasts me with audio, and VI is kind of whatever. And this is seems like it's really quiet. All right, I'm totally gonna do redo the music though, because it needs to be done. Wait, how do I get rid of this? Shit, what did I do? Oh, okay. Oh, this is the list. God. That base. Base drop. Let's see. Oh, this is the intro. Yeah, let's do that one. Every day is night is always good. Enter saxophone. Okay. I gotta have my Mario music. Even though it has it doesn't sound a thing like uh Jolly Roger Bay. What is it? Oh. Who was I? Oh, this one's good, too. Let's do that. This is the struggle. Every time I stream this game, I go through these, and I'm like, Oh, this one's good. Oh, this one's good. I mean, they're all actually really good, but... I have some I like more than others. Ah, it's too high energy. I want chill. Oh, there it is. Is that... Yeah, that's the Mario one. <laughs> it's... It's totally not even Mario, goddammit, but it just sounds like Jolly Roger Bay. Or Dire Dire Docks, I'm sorry. Alright, that opening riff is what makes it sound like it. Da -da 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 -da. It's so loud. But it's, uh... Yeah. Do you see it? Do you kind of hear it, though? Like, it sounds kind of like it. Just... I don't know. My brain makes it sound alike. Oh, it's... I don't know what that... No. Remember me! the Armageddon soundtrack. Oh, okay, that was the track that I was playing. Yeah, sure. It's got half my name in it. Some of these take a long time to, like, come on. Your love is a drug is the Cure Mickey song. Yeah, sure. Well, that's really kind of poppy. God, I have too many beers on my desk and... Okay. Blam, 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 blam. I don't know how I feel about that one. That one's good. Nah. You know what's chill? That's kind of what I'm going for. God, I keep moving. Sure. I'm 
sure some people might watch this to be like, why does he take so fucking long on the jute box? But it's important, come on. If a game's gonna let me- oh god, that is- wow, that's loud. That was good though, that bass. It's got a lot of Seinfeld. It was just pro appropriate because, uh... God, what is his name? Like, Jason Alexander is his real name. What's his actual Seinfeld name? I make fun of him all the time. Oh, God. God damn it. Anyway, that one's good. Uh, dusk. Oh yeah, that one's weird. That almost sounds like the start of Black Velveteen by Lenny Kravitz. Black Velveteen! Well, kinda. Oh, God damn. Yeah, kinda, hang on, let's see. Maybe not. No, yeah, it totally does. Okay, don't want to get the VOD muted any more than it already is. Yeah, let's do let's do Black Velveteen. Good. Let's get started. God, I'll spend forever in that menu. Mixed drinks saved James' lives. Oh shit, it's Corgi. Yo, what's up? Um, lady, did you hear me? A dog, another dog. You must have smelled my cat all the way here. Yeah, not just another dog. I came here as a part timer. So you're the part timer? Yeah! Awesome, I'm taking my break. It's too early! Shit! <sighs> Part-timer's here. Okay, now, now I might need to turn on the game just a little bit. Why a dog? Why? Because look at him. He has a Hawaiian shirt and sunglasses. And he's a Shiba, not a Corgi. I don't know what you're complaining about. They all look the same to me. Granted, Shibas could be seen as a Japanese counterpart to Corgis. Both funny looking and dogs used by the royalty. Anyways, starting today, this dog will help around here. My name is... It doesn't matter what your name is. Is that a rock? Joke? Boss, please don't shout. Sorry. Just call him Rad Shiba. Why rad? Why rad she <laughs> Part of the Y in shirt and sunglasses, don't you get it? He's the raddest thing here. Wow, that was so 90s. Thanks. Anyways, he will mostly help by getting orders, bringing clients in, and cleaning, but uh, he ought to know how things work. Cleaning? That'll be a change of pace. To act like a client and see how you work. Right. If I get you, I'll have a grizzly temple. <laughs> I can't take this seriously. Holy shit. Yeah, just a couple of post traumatic flashbacks when y'all shit all over the ceiling and the walls. Yeah, instead of grouting those bricks, there was fucking shit! Grizzly Temple. Three. Gotta get back in the swing and mix them drinks. Girl. Three. This is a shitty drink, man. It's only got one alcohol in it. One whole alcohol. 
blended. Wait, how do you do this? I thought you just... Oh, mix. Do. Gotta wait till it goes crazy. There we go. It's a fucking grizzly temple. Wow, this is awful! People actually pay for this shit? Hard to believe, I know. <laughs> oh my god, now I feel like the music's too loud again. God damn it, game. Just a little bit, okay. <sighs> so it brings a dog like you to a, taking a part-time job here. But we did have a floating brain that one time. I'm here to help the funding of my organization. Are you with the Cyfar toy company? What? No, don't loot me in with those heart hurting supremacists. Oh, haha, I get it, because corgis are hurting dogs. I belong to Sira. Sira? K9 Independent Rescue Association. Duh! Oh. A place where dogs can be dogs and save them from themselves. <laughs> God damn it. So, like, what? They just won't eat too many milk bones and die or some shit? Zero is what I love, but damn, is it expensive sometimes. Yeah, okay. Decided to take part time jobs to help fund anything it needs. To help Sierra be the best it can be. Well, at least she's got aspirations. Pay treatment for her dogs, give food, blah 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 blah. Any recommendations? Avoid the promo drinks. Fluffy dream? Oh yeah. Now the dog wants a fluffy dream. With optional alcohol. Stop being a puss and get some real alcohol. God. <laughs> oh hey, what's up? Yeah, I haven't played this. Like I said when I started the stream, I haven't played it since September 2017. And it deserves to be finished. Well, the dog wants optional alcohol, so let's just give him alcohol. All aged and mixed. Okay. Uh, A, it's been a long time, and the game deserves to be finished, and B, the sequel's coming out in uh, uh, 2020, which is soon. This one's nice. And this game's coming out for Switch, which is great, but I just can't see myself enjoying it as much without mouse control because I could just you know it's, it's easy it's almost not even a game for me to play I just sit here drink beer and click and occasionally narrate I need weird skills what kind of weird skills do you have dog it's close to home you know that doghouse across the street Oh, hey, answer me a question, because I totally forgot, and it's it's so stupid. It's one of those obvious questions I should know, but... What was Jason Alexander's character on Seinfeld? Like, he's in this game, and I always call him by his name, but I can't remember it right now. Obviously, there's Kramer and Jerry, and uh, the girl, I also don't remember her name, but it's not important right now. George Costanza! Yes, thank you. <laughs> Yeah, last time I streamed this, George Costanza was in it. God, how can I forget that? Shame on me. And for whatever reason, I remembered his real name, but I couldn't remember his actual name. Like, uh, the show name. Food handler certificate. Previous work experience or thumbs. God, what a pain. <laughs> I mean... I should really remember that name because, uh, 
my sister once dated a guy, and I called him George Costanza. And he really didn't look anything like George Costanza. It's just his height and the glasses made him kind of like George Costanza. So I was like, hey, George Costanza. <laughs> but I actually got along with that dude. He also uh, liked playing video games. One of the places where you know, it's chill talking. The bartending sounded a bit more glamorous than just being a store clerk. Oh yeah, about the way you mix stuff. Yeah? Is it... Hey. It's a cat! Elaine Bennis. Yeah, Elaine. I don't ever remember their last names. I was just trying to think of the... Like, what her name was in general, just Elaine, yeah, 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 yeah. I really need to, like, sit down and watch all of Seinfeld one day, which is a weird show to me, because in the 90s, or early 2000s, when it was, like, still popular and fresh, I, I hated it. And then as time went on, I got older, I, I started getting amused by it, I don't know why. We don't hate them, unless they're intruders. Playing aloud, you'll get shit and piss everywhere! Meow. Why can't everybody talk but the cat? Because when you're in Jill's room, the cat always talks to you, but it's kind of like implied like it's psychic. Like Jill's just making this shit up or something. I don't know, it's weird. Oh shit, it's Say, just as I was talking about her last time. What happened to you? Oh, you know, remember that bank that got fucked up? I lived. I lived, motherfucker! I fell. And now I look like Raiden from Metal Gear Rising. better, but the later seasons of Seinfelds are better than Frasier. Like, Seinfeld re never really got bad because the show had no narrative. But they never had some detailed story to hold on to. Yeah. I think... Shit, you know, comparing the two now that I think about it... Hmm. They are very similar, but at the same time, not. I get what you're saying, and it's kind of true. Like, there's established characters on Seinfeld, but at the same time, uh... Frasier kind of has more of a story arc, like an overall story arc kind of deal going on. And see, that's also funny that you bring up Frasier because I hate Cheers. I cannot stand Cheers. But when it comes down to uh, Frasier, I love Frasier because it's just uh, Kelsey Grammer and, uh, you know, Niles. I don't know his real name. But, uh,. I like the dynamic between them, and of course the dad and Eddie and uh, Daphne and Roz. I like the interactions between them all, but mainly Fraser and yeah, David Hyde Pierce. Yeah, mainly Fraser and Niles. I love their banter. Yeah, well Niles is well, actually they're both very like. I want to say they have like. Christopher Lloyd movements, which is totally appropriate because he directed the show. They have that Doc Brown kind of like, oh, Marty, kind of like shake action movement. I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. That's that's kind of what I'm alluding to. So Say survived the whole bank thing, and now everybody's like lynching white knights, and she's a white knight, but she's totally okay. 
just because she's an all-around good girl and knows people and now she's at the bar. Medications. Stiff 10 man movements, yeah. Something sweet without alcohol. Oh man, better not fuck up and give her alcohol. It's been so long since I've actually done any of the mixed drinking. A flavor? Sweet. Sugar Rush, that's optional alcohol, so I can just make it without alcohol. Yeah, let's do that. Two... Next, that's it. Actually, that's really easy. Yeah, but the sequel of this game's coming out in 2020. I'm really looking forward to it because this one's so good. Faith. It's amazing that you made such a leap of faith and seemed to fuck everything up other than your legs. Oh, I rolled to mitigate the fall, but I made a bad, bad move and broke it. <laughs> yeah, Assassin's Creed. Leap of faith. Heights scared the shit out of me. If I had to make a leap of fate, well, I guess I would be pretty happy too that I only came out of it with a broken arm. I'm alive! It's true that after you go through like a near-death experience, like the greatest joy comes after that, that no drugs or any kind of thing in life can really match of just like, holy shit, I almost died, I'm alive. And then you just like, everything seems so much more vivid, like, oh, I can hear the birds singing and shit. And yes, I do speak from personal experience. Even if it is short-lived, it is kind of like, it's very true that that is, that is a thing, you know? Music choices are not matching the serious tone. A bleeding chain sounds terrible. It's really the best idea to give her one. I don't know. Is it? It doesn't have any alcohol on it. I'm just gonna give her what she wants. I mean, half of this game's quote-unquote gameplay is the mixing drinks aspect, and sometimes the customers, like, the, tr the true answer is to not necessarily give them what they wanted. Or, or like, that one fucker, uh, what's his name? Giuliano or Filiano, or I don't fucking remember. Dude has a question mark on his head. He was in the last stream I did of this, and he's... He's always coming in, and he speaks in riddles. He's like, oh, I want this. It's like a really cryptic riddle. And you have to guess what he wants, and I almost always fail it. Because I don't exactly know. This is why I... Oh, god damn, why do I keep doing that? This is why I'd, be, I'd make a terrible businessman, because I'm just totally 100% honest and upfront. Like, I don't like cryptic shit. Like, just tell me what you fucking want. Don't wince, it's totally alcohol free. 
Maybe I shouldn't have given her that. <laughs> Come on, you're on medication. Just take some alcohol. It'll make you better. <laughs> yeah, I really... It's something I think about quite a bit. Like, I see, like, savvy businessmen doing deals, and I'm just like, God. If I ever somehow managed to get a business going, I would just hire a person that I could trust that was savvy at business, because I'm just... Uh, it's too forthright and honest to deal with that shit same thing with being a lawyer like I think I would love it for the justice aspect but it would have to be on my terms like I wouldn't want to defend someone who I suspected to be guilty maybe that's really simplifying it that's just how I feel the analgesics still numbing me wait let me call cat girl oh damn That girl says so awful things inside that bag. Thank you, com comedic, comedic relief, Gillian. Gillian. I guess it'd be Gil. They call him Gil. What a Gillian? I don't know. Whatever. Maybe I shouldn't have said all that. Wait a minute. Wasn't that like a day ago? She's been like a like unconscious for a whole day. Just worried. I bet she's still just in shock. Yeah, Gil, you're like this weird stealthy dude anyway. Yeah, break time. Which means save. Dispensary. What, what do you mean, plush coffee shop? You mean, like, plus? Was that just a typo? Or were you talking about selling weed and plushies in a coffee shop? <laughs> <clears throat> oh, okay. Plus, okay. You know, that's that's funny that you mentioned like talking about weed dispensary as far as business because it's something I've thought about. The problem is it's just not legal where we live. But I mean, uh, it's totally as far as like a good lucrative idea. I think it's a really really good idea, especially right now in this uh, period of transition. Um, I, no, I'll keep my same music. Ah, oh, Jamie, give me my f get your father his sword, Jamie, please. I forgot this guy totally, but <laughs> I don't know why that movie has been on my mind lately. Oh, I'd have to move to Colorado. Well, I'd I'd go with you because uh, Colorado's a nice and beautiful country, and B weed's legal. That'd be a great idea. I've actually been to one dispensary there while I was passing through, which I think is pretty amazing that they just like let you as long as you have a driver's license and you don't like look shady going into the store they pretty much let you do whatever and all i remember i was but it was such a wasted experience because we got like some edibles and and stuff and like some hybrid and the hotel i had rented out in the mountains um I just, I was so tired because I had driven from Texas to Colorado in one night, like from one day to night to morning, and I had to keep driving, so I had like next to no sleep. I had like 10 minutes of sleep, and then we get to the hotel room finally, and it's like 6 p.m. the next day, so it's like two days without sleep, and I was like, oh, finally I get to rest, you know? I was like, oh, edible cookies, and I took it, and I was like, whoa, this shit's great. And I was like asleep. I just remember passing out to Big Hero 6 on the fucking TV and we were in like a log cabin. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was a waste. No, I agree, but it sure as hell 
that sure as fuck helped me fall asleep. And the only thing that was nearby at a hotel was a fucking subway and a gas station. And it was like, oh my god, I don't even know what time it was. I woke up again. I was like, I'm starving. I walked all across the street over like a like half a mountain to get to that subway because I didn't feel like driving. I was like, you know, still kind of like woozy. I was like, I want a spicy Italian footlong with extra pepperoni. You know, I got this like Muda Hunga sandwich and then I just walked back to my room and I was so happy. That was the first time I'd eaten in like a day, two days. God, he's got a litter box in his cage, Dana. No, no, no. That was Lubbock. That was that was years ago. This was this was on my way to California in 2016, the last time I went. No, the whole when I stopped being vegan was in Lubbock, and that was after I had been camping out at Buffalo Lake. And I came back into town. And I said. And ironically, yes, Subway was the first thing I had then too. <laughs> well, the whole the whole plan was was like, well, if we're gonna stop being vegan, let's get let's get Subway and let's get Freebirds. But I only made it to Subway because you know not having hardly eaten anything, and then going to a foot long tuna sandwich. It was like Thanksgiving dinner at once. And then then that was also the same kind of experience of me going home and just chilling the fuck out for like a whole day. <laughs> Jamie, you fought the sword! Anyway, here's the cyborg assassin Jamie or whatever. Oh yeah, he likes gut punches. Optional. Well, the dude looks like he needs some alcohol. Next. <laughs> An old manual. Co-worker has been on a vegan diet and he had a ham sandwich the other day and vomited. <laughs> well, I mean, it's tough. Like having the experience I have of have been have been vegan at one point, I would definitely say vegetarian is probably more more manageable and just easier to do from a like willpower standpoint. And plus, it's just more convenient because. Vegan means you can't have nothing, basically. Vegetarian, you can have, you know, some stuff. You just can't have meat. Like, you can have uh, milk and whatever. But vegan, that's a no-no. And you can't, you know... <laughs> if you've been vegan for a while, you don't want to come back and, like, eat some greasy-ass pizza or some sloppy ham sandwich, because you're gonna, you know... Your body gets... Just like with anything, it gets used to shit, and it'll like get used to not having something, and then it'll totally reject it whenever you take it again. It's felt uneasy for no good reason. Yep, and there. Mercenary. Because you love cheese. I 100% agree. In fact, when I was vegan, and like, there's a lot of like substitute for like cheese and and pizza crust and whatever. Like even meat, there's like meat substitute. But uh, the worst tasting thing was the cheese. There was like rice cheese. It's disgusting. The best kind, I. Real cheese is the only kind of cheese. Like, if I'm gonna go vegan again, I'm not gonna have cheese. Like, there's just no way. No replacement or anything. Cheese is 
cheese is just irreplaceable. No, there isn't. <laughs> Real cheese is the best. And e I'm even particular when it comes down to like <clears throat> between like cheese and cheap cheese. Like, I will always fork over the extra amount of money it takes to get legit cheese. Like, quality cheese. Cheese is the hot dogs to me. Like, I can only have the highest quality hot dog or cheese. No, it's disgusting, man. It's gross. I'm very. <laughs> well, I mentioned the hot dogs because the last time I streamed Final Fantasy VIII, uh, I ran into an instance where Zell almost had hot dogs and he couldn't. And I, I, I commented that I had hot dogs that day and I was like, I don't even like hot dogs that much. They have to be the highest quality hot dogs. Okay, wait a minute. He wants something bitter. Bitter? Manly? Bitter, manly, and burning. Okay, let's give him a suplex. What's the Super Mario song? <laughs> On the rocks. Suplex! Ah, uh, yes. Bitter, manly, burning. You just reminded me of my grandpa. <laughs> he used to eat Bronson roots every afternoon. He said they make them stronger. You make me uncomfortable. Durians, yeah. Sex ed class? What? I was not paying attention to that conversation. Yeah, you know, speaking of durians, and maybe this has nothing to do with them, but I've I've been wondering lately what plantains taste like, because they look just like bananas, but clearly they don't taste like bananas, according to Guy Fieri and Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives. <laughs> but I don't know what they taste like, and I'm really curious. Most dangerous bounty hunter. Jet Black James. Got the nickname because he's always he always wears black clothes. Well, that could just be anybody in the year 2000. Come on. My clothes were there to hide the blood stains. He got oh the edge ah. So it's not really him, it's just who he knew. Take the reward. He was too good, in fact. He got himself killed! It was just that crazy by then. So he, he, he's a bounty hunter that grew to love and murder. Send it all to my account before shooting himself. God! Why has it been made into a movie? Exactly, Jill. Banana cucumber? Gross. I wouldn't like it then, because I don't like cucumbers. Disgusting. God, why do people drink that shit then? Ah. 
actually give me one second. James, his name is Jamie. Jamie, father sword. Is that, is that from Conan? Is that what I'm thinking of? No. Oh. I don't know what the fuck it's from. I think I'm crazy now. Get me a beer. Alright. Do you want a big beer? Because I can do that. Hmm. Okay. I love how this dystopian future is. Beer had traditionally brewed beer has become a luxury. That sucks. Uh, let's not give him a big one. He may he may have to go back on the job, so let's just do let's see. Here. Chemical beer. Not good with violence. Say it out loud. I feel like I'll just tempt fate. Let's try it anyways. Don't do it. Everyone has just been a gloomy, gloomy face after gloomy face, and that dog. I sure hope the next client changes that. Oh shit! I knew it, Mr. Ingram. Like one of the first guys, I think. Got out of my job. I need to drink badly. I remember this crack house was nearby. I get you then. I'll have a bleeding chain. I'll give you a bleeding chain, asshole. But it has no alcohol. Use. I don't understand the point of drinking alcohol if you're not gonna have alcohol in it. Come on. That blended. That's right. Shake, shake. down artificial and nasty pasta power god I can't forget the couple days ago I just could not sleep all night and for some reason it was like 6 or 7 a.m. and I just woke up to watching the Super Mario Brothers Super Show and then I wound up making spaghetti in the middle of that day like somewhere in the haze of 
the Super Mario Bros. Super Show, like spaghetti landed in my hands. Oh, welcome back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, that show. I will say it's still it's still good for some laughs, even though it's so cheesy. Do the Mario dance, macabre. Not bad day. Ugh, the edge. Ah. Shippers in their houses, streets are clear. No traffic jams. Imagine you walking everywhere. I can't see this guy driving. Means his or her duties go to the next rim chopper on the Toto. Damn. But they're planning to kill each other, anyways. Ah, social commentary. I don't. I just hate teenagers. I remind you that you were once a teenager yourself. Of course not. No shit. Thank you, Jill. Give me a Zen Star. Try not to mess it up. Ah, oh, yeah. Isn't this like everything balanced? As all things should be. ingredient. Oh, so that means alcohol. Okay. More alcohol. On the rocks and mixed. I like nasty stuff. God! Get off my back! Where's the red comet? Char? Oh, you mean my boss? Rad Shiba. Let's play for Let's play. Oh, get out of here. Cat doesn't talk. We have a dog here and a cat. But I guess she was happy. Yeah. A shitty voice for him. It ruins everything. Do I miss something? Only Jamie and some other guy. I see. We were talking about you. You look exhausted. So you missed Dorothy. Oh, great. Now she's going to show up, huh? Not asleep. Being with your cat was really fun. Wait, did I fuck up? 
No, I got the flawless service bonus, so I, I did good. Yeah. Wait a minute. Uh, the 24th, make sure you have $8,000. Well, I got 9000 so... Oh, shit, but she wants beer. Hey. God. I was like reading other shit while I was trying to unlock her phone. Oh wait a minute, let me go shop first. Beer, 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 beer. Wait a minute. Oh, beer on discount. A thousand bucks? Okay. Yeah, that's oh I still got enough. With two hundred and fifty dollars left. in the news. Oh, I say news very loosely. Monster Girl meme. I'm going to marry a Monster Girl. I just want actual gameplay next time. Empowered piece of shit. I'll just quit gaming. Nothing but trash as of late. <laughs> Remember when games were actually good and devs actually made them love and care? Me neither. <laughs> Data leak. Remember the leaks from Alice. Espionage. Terabytes. Oh, this is the same thing as last time. Uh, yeah, okay. Soccer, soccer popularity as pro wrestling rises. Oh shit! This is my kind of future. What's known as the king of sports, soccer is no longer even a shadow of its former self. After the corruption scandals of the last World Cup, fans have begun drifting towards the theatrical magic of the pro wrestling industry. The latest GSF tournament pulled nearly 20 million viewers from Glitch City alone. As of this moment, fans seem to be vastly favoring pro wrestling. It's easier to follow something we know is predetermined as opposed to something that pretends to be a legit sport, said a fan outside of the GSF arena. People kicking a ball is boring as shit, too. <laughs> That's pretty good. I like that. <laughs> World Cup. Is there really like something going on with the World Cup? I don't know. I don't keep up with that shit. Let me tell you the only time in my life I ever kept up with the World Cup, and that was when I was in Korea and they were in the World Cup. And even then I didn't care. I just went out to drink, but I was surrounded by soccer fans, so I didn't have a choice. Massive corruption scandals, well, yeah, it sounds like it. You know what else that has scandals? It feels like the NFL is full of scandals these days. Bribery scandals based on the World Cup location? Where's it at? The waifu revolution from the 2010s is no longer a laughing matter. What started as a trend has since gone out of control since the standardization of VR technologies, which allows people to live full time inside their computers. You're doing it to themselves? Yeah, yeah. Blah, blah, blah. World plan. Yeah. Is the waifu age real? Well, there's your answer. I'm telling you, man, the future VR is gonna be crazy. You want that game? Anime games are stupid. New ones, at least. <laughs> Next World Cup will be in Qatar. Oh, shit. Man, I remember when Qatar was just a staging point for troops going to Iraq. I guess it's just from me being inside the military and shit. Also, I just realized this nuclear land text is the font of uh, Metal Gear Solid. 
Holy shit. What can I buy for $250? Poster, Night of the ID Snatchers. Mm. I'll wait before I buy anything. An annoying phone. Nothing new here. France, Britain, and the U.S. Then it got revealed that they bribed the head of FIFA with tons of money. Dang. That sounds pretty shady. Uh, I'm gonna take a... I'm gonna BRB really quickly. I'll be back in like a minute, so just sit tight. Okay, okay. Uh, was that recent, though? That ESPN uh, thing you watched about the soccer industry? Or, yeah, well, I guess it is an industry. Okay. Go to work. Ah, chill. Good timing. Is it? About two years ago? Oh, okay. Watch silly mega Christmas specials. God. Mega Chris. Oh, yeah. And this future, mega Christmas is a thing. Because Christmas got too outdated. We needed mega Christmas. Which is even more commercialized. You saw the random slut on the t shirt? Yeah, I think it's a parody of Pink. You know, from Victoria's Secret, I think it is. Mega Christmas party. You in? Sure. I love Mega Christmas parties. God, Dana. More the merrier. You didn't bring your cat today? No, Gil. God. Mega Thanksgiving, where everybody has a turducken. Covered in queso. God, this sounds disgusting. Yeah, Thanksgiving is superior because all you do is eat. Some of this other bullshit. Alright, let's change the music. A little bit. Just a little bit. This game has good music. Oh. 
now. I think I like this one though. Already have it. Damn it. <gasps> Random guitar. That's the one first. This one, that one there. Uh -huh. All right, yeah, whatever. Convahala. Uh, are you? I want fluffy dream. ID. I don't have an ID. Get out of here. I'm the ghost of Mega Christmas Pass. Get the fuck out of here. Well, I can pay you in Christmas spirit. She's getting alcohol so easily. Well, does that mean I shouldn't put alcohol in it? Yeah, optional. Okay. You don't get alcohol! I don't remember this. Is this new? I'm sure there's like other shit in this game I've never seen. So it'd be interesting if it was something new. Aged and mixed. Just your shit. Wow, I actually got a drink. There's no alcohol. It's like Kool-Aid. Music because it reminds you of Blade Runner. I need to fucking watch that Blu-ray I bought already. Yeah, this soundtrack's amazing. I mean, I, I, I make a lot of jokes about it, including that one of the tracks sounds just like uh, Jolly Roger Bay, but the honest to god truth is, is this soundtrack's great. I mean, this game's great, and I love it. That's why I'm so comfortable with it, and I can't wait for the sequel in 2020! Yeah, I haven't watched it. It's just sitting... Like, it, I even took it out of the cellophane and everything. It's just sitting on my... Uh, shelf back there with my old consoles ghost to make a Christmas past all oh, right I'm a ghost uh, I forgot that guy let me kill Jill please You got a drink. Non-alcoholic one! You expect me to really give you a drink, right? Huh? Get out of here. I can't leave! If this is the future, I guarantee you this is not the only bar in like a three-foot radius. Norma? Such an old name for such a futuristic character. Fake ID. Well, let me call you McLovin, or organ donor from Hawaii. I don't remember this at all. You're in a bad mood, Miss Bartender. It's because you're underage! Nah, she's just like that all the time. Wait, is this your sister? Gil, get your ass over here. This is your sister, isn't it? Y'all have similar hair. Incident. Why'd you come here? Well, you care. I can do whatever I want. Unless it's illegal. want to be more wild. <laughs> it's never enough. It's never enough to have good grades. Child, you sweet summer child, you do not know the wor way of the world and its ways. I don't 
don't want to do things for her anymore. Came back smelling like alcohol. She would leave me alone. Yo, get your sister out of here! This is not funny anymore! Oh, but for real, who is this? Gil knows her. Like alcohol? Never had it. I think it's nasty. Get out of here! Don't ruin the world of people who like to have alcohol, miss! Yeah, like weed. Or belly dancer. Or, you know, a mass murderer. Or cheat on your test. Everything, every one of those is equally disappointing. So focused on trying to be good. I haven't thought about anything else. Let me tell you something from personal experience fictional character on my screen. Worrying about being good to uh, everyone will only wound up screwing you in the end, so don't do it. Just do what you want to do. A SoundCloud rapper. <laughs> I knew what you meant, yeah. Hey, you're right. If it was only so easy to talk sense into people. Call me Jill. Jill, alright. In the end, you did humor her for a bit. Shut up. Yeah, exactly. Oh, a doggy. Hello, little girl! Oh, shit! <laughs> Late. Mr. to be Jay. Stop calling me Jay. Good to see you here. Plus, will he be any good around here? I'm right here! I know! Sit. Roll. Fuck is the uh, whatever. Who the fuck are you? Where are all these new people? Wait a minute. No. I don't remember this guy. He looks like someone from out of the movie Akira, though. Yeah. Yeah, you got it. There you go. Yeah. Uh, what's the Tetsuo? Sure. There were the four riders of the apocalypse and they came on motorbikes. Oh god, I hate this song. Or at least I hate that refrain. Fuck. I need a rest anyway. What can I get you? Well, a piano woman. Sorry, I didn't hear you. I have a Mars Blast. Oh, you pussy. If you want a cosmopolitan, just fucking get it. Should I give him a piano woman anyway? I'll leave it up to you. What do you think? Give him what he originally said, or give him what he corrected to? Oh, there, there we go. It's the Super Mario Brothers song. It's not really. I just keep making that tired joke. I'm 
Yeah, I'm leaning towards Piano Woman. Even though he said Mars Blast, I think he really wants this. Let's see if I'm wrong. We'll know at the end of this night. I don't remember this character. I don't know if this is new or what. Which, granted, September 2017 was a long time ago. Here's your piano woman. You look happy. Shut up. Call me Mario. Holy shit! Prophecy has been fulfilled. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> hang on, hang on. <laughs> oh, God. There's a lot of shit going on. Hey, Paisanos! It's the Super Mario Brothers Super Show! We're the Mario Brothers, and plummets are game. We're not like the others who get all the fame. If you're sick and in trouble, you can call us on the double. We're faster than the others, you'll be hooked on the brothers. Okay, that's enough of that. Sorry for the noise. Yeah, you're right, Mario. God. So what do you work as, Mario? A plumber! I live to paint the roads black of my wheels. Even the trail of my engine sounds wherever I go. I'm a rebel. Fuck the red lights. Fuck the speed limits. Fuck the helmet laws. The roads are mine and mine only. I am... I'm going outside with the dog. We'll advertise the bar. Hello, doggy. Hello, shady guy. Sh shady. <laughs> this night has been full of edge. I'll be back before long. Don't worry. Right. Careful. Careful. Was she? She's a mysterious woman. She was cute. Barking up the wrong tree. Not that you're not cute, and it's not like I'm into girls, either. What? Not like there's anything wrong with that, I just... Told you, I'm a rebel, I... It's your day job. I'm a delivery boy. <laughs> ah, yeah, that's appropriate. We deliver. I also like that the sequel is going to be elsewhere, like set in a tropical location. Whereas like Glitch City where this game takes place, it's like a huge like metropole. It's basically like New York now. What do you think of, what do you think of the United States? Do you think of the city, the biggest city as being New York? It's kind of what Glitch City is, I guess. I mean, what do I care? Fix that yourself, bitch! <laughs> Guess a moon blast would be nice. Gut punch. You're gonna get what you asked for first! Sugary shit. And this is good. Just be more honest, asshole. God, get those goggles off your sleeve. They serve no purpose there. Fuck's sake. That's like, what is the year in this game? Like 2078? 
Like, is the tough guy thing really a thing in the future still? Because I feel like it's already fading out now. Like, why do you have to keep up appearances then? Like, this is supposed to be scary, right? Rebels without a cause! Or, I mean, rebels that cause trouble. Wow, that was a weird mix-up in my brain. If we apply that logic here, I should be wearing one-third of my clothes and lighting drinks on fire. Good point. I guess. Do whatever you want and dress however you want. It's not a lie. Yeah, but other bikers. Ugh. The ham, Tino, you fat lard. I don't have to be that way. Good. Look, if you live in the future and you drive a freaking Akira bike around, that's bad enough ass as it is. Like, don't try to be a hard ass on top of it. God. It's like a Super Kawasaki 5000 or whatever. I don't know. It's been forever since I've seen that movie. I can handle another one. Give me a French Weaver. Wait a minute. That drink was like... Oh yeah, this is like the most alcoholic drink. God damn. Good for you. Here you go. It's basically nine alcohols and one sugar. Uh, aged mixed. Shake not stirred. That guy over there. Are you dating him? Oh, oh. Is he seeing anyone? I don't know, go fucking ask him! God! Do you think he... No, never mind. I, I said nothing. Stop trying to be a hard ass and just ask him! You heartbreaking fuckboy. <laughs> what? What'd you say? Nothing. I'll be taking my break now. Okay. God. Sinatra. Yeah, it's basically like a martini. I mean, if you looked at the little graphic, it was kind of like in a martini glass. Shaken, not stirred. I've had a martini shaken, not stirred in Las Vegas, and it was... It was basically like straight vodka, honestly. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I should have changed that first song. Alright, whatever. The Rad Sheba Bar. <laughs> oh, hey, it's Dorothy. Well, we did speak about Dorothy last chapter. Our cat's in the alley. Really? Too obvious, yes. John Gill? That's gotta suck. You're just like an AI, completely balanced, and they just give you random fears of hot dogs or cats or something. Fear of dogs and chinchillas <laughs> are extinct. time of the month. You're an android! <laughs> Such like Blade Runner! Yeah, I know. God, I, I really need to watch that movie now. I feel like this game would have a whole new level of, like, appreciation for me if I watched that movie, but I haven't watched it yet. God damn it. All right. <laughs> Watch 
question. Blade Runner next week? Sure, I'm down. I really need to watch that movie. What time of the month do Lillian menstruate? Yes, oil. Those to leave me dumb. Why'd you fucking say that? The time when I feel like drinking your bleeding chain. God damn it. Get a sexy Santa dress, and that's not fair. What? They're sold out. I wanted one too. I think it's better that way. But I do have an at least 40% organic policy. <laughs> Human from the neck up. Dick's preferably organic, but I can make exceptions. <laughs> Oh yeah, she's a prostitute. Very much. Don't let her appearance fool you. She's an android. She's a Lilum. And in this game, they're the quote-unquote androids like in Blade Runner. She just is a quote-unquote young-looking one. Which is technically kind of like her business card. If you get my drift. A blue fairy. A big one. Okay, so this is my first, like, big order of the night, so I get to double it. So that's eight. Eight, four, five, six, seven, eight. And two. Optional. I guess two? I don't know. Maybe four. Sure. There you go. Wonder if, if you want to see fairies after a couple of these. I'm sure someone has. Some guy tested that by drinking as many as he could. Thought he saw one, but he was dizzy, and what he seen was his puke. You know, earlier today, there was a mega Christmas spirit around here. What about it? I made, that I'm realizing I made a fuss about serving, serving drinks to someone underage, but here I am. She's a robot, though. It's a mega Santa prank. I want you to make me a woman. That's terrible. for a pony and a crane to lift him. God, that's terrible. You're terrible! Who programmed you? Get out of here! I'll consider it. Huh. Good enough for anything you want. Numbers! I need numbers! I 
H was 24. Yeah, I fucking believe it. Long since you've been deployed. That's a secret I'll keep with me. Fair enough. Joe, you're 27. You're still young. Should make a shirt with that, because if you don't, I will! Free. Do anything else? Let's see. I want something with mega alcohol, because I'm a fucking android, and how do we even drink anyway? I don't know. Cobalt Velvet. alcohol. Dorothy always gets the most alcohol. Rocks. Next. This is the one. I love alcohol. I don't dislike it. I guess I'm not mature enough for these drinks. Shut the fuck up. What day's today. Mega Christmas. Wednesday. The number. The 21st. Wow, I knew what day it was in this game, but I can barely remember what today is. What, what is today? Oh, it's the second. Oh, God. Wait, really? I thought it was still February. Oh, never mind. Whatever. I guess you're gonna tell me to make some convoluted calculation. You can't? I could if I put my mind to it, but it's not something I have quick access to. Advent in our calendar and a calculator. It sounds like you're just fucking lazy. Yeah, you know, short ass February. Although for whatever reason, February this year seemed like it took forever to be over with. I didn't need the date though. I have something to do on the 26th. I've been avoiding it for a while now though. Oh, but don't worry, it's nothing dangerous or anything like that. It's just heavy. to go now. Bye! Thought about it. I didn't find any cats! Get out of here! Uh-oh. Huh? Another kid? Maybe the bar got popular at middle school? That would be a hassle. Oh god, so maybe Alma was right. I miss Alma. Where's Alma? I haven't seen her in many years. Hacking became a fad. Three kids, technically including the spirit, quote unquote. Eh. How would bartending become a fad? Maybe a cartoon? Kids' cartoons don't show any alcohol. What? Jill, you're not helping. Gil. Jill. Gillian? Who names her kid Gillian? Wouldn't it just be Gil? I don't know. Whatever. Because they abbreviate his name all the time as Gil, but his name is Gillian, so I'm confused about how to say it, because when I read it, it says Jillian, but I want to say Gil because he's a dude. I don't know. What's the future? Whatever. Maybe she's curious to end shot. Also, oh, it's rude to speak about people you have in front of you like they can't hear you. Say something. Who are you? Beer.
a miss. Are you happy? Not sad, I guess. I'm not jubilant, but... So many ellipses going on. Chump change is still money. Pocket change has saved my ass many times. Words to live by, thanks to Gil. Nostalgia. Can't remember your own sister's face. Sister? Sister? Not even sister in law? Oh, wait, Gabby? Is that really you? God. I'm sorry, but you've just grown so much since I last saw you. How long has it been? Three years. You know her? Yeah, Gail, shut up! She's actually my girlfriend, my ex's sister. Um, so how have you been doing? I actually had a transfer, transfer schools and I managed to skip grade thanks to the admission test. I'll be out of middle school next year. No. Oh, here it comes. I don't know yet. I guess I still have a couple years to think about that. Sabbatical. So how's Lenore? Her sister. She, um, she was my girlfriend. So you actually had a relationship with something that's not a cat? Color me surprised. Hey, don't talk shit about my baby. So how's Lenore doing? She's dead. Done! Done! Done. Oh, great timing on that music. So yeah, I knew it was going to happen sometime, but yeah.
This is like a weird codec call on Metal Gear Solid. Getting close to the end, though. I remember that event happening, and now we're like really close to the end of the story. I think, sorta, of, kinda. Not that I want it to be over or anything, but I just know we're kind of close to that. But that's where I'm gonna stop the stream, though. I'll leave you on a fucking cliffhanger of uh, Jill's ex-girlfriend killed herself, or well, she didn't kill herself. She died. From Nano Machine Sun, but <laughs> or Nano Machine Rejection, which is why a Cat Girl who comes in has cat ears because apparently it was a cure for it. I don't know. A weird justification for having cat ears, I know, but that's that's what happened. Actually, let's go to the jukebox. All right, one last time. I want to make sure I'm not crazy. Hang on. Is it uh? You will never be alone, or whatever it's called. You're, you're, you are not alone. Oh, wait a minute, come on. Oh, where do I go from here? God, why did I think that was you will not be alone? Alright, does this not sound like this Mario song? This song right here. Doesn't it sound like the beginning of this from It Started Art Ops from Super Mario 64? very very close right I'm not crazy right okay thank god I'm swear every time I play this game I'm just like I see that song when I'm going through the jukebox because you have to set it every time you go to work I'm just like oh it's Mario 64 and I always make that fucking joke but I'm like god it's got to be old by shit by now all right uh, let's save one more time. How do I save? Okay, let's save. There. Many, many times have it has been saved. I don't think I can just exit like that. Oh. There we go. Yeah, uh, I'll finish this really soon. We're very close to the end with that whole, like, bombshell that just happened about her girlfriend's dad or whatever. And then we'll wait a whole year, and then 2020, the sequel will be out, and I'll be playing that. As soon as that drops, I don't follow anything on Steam, but that is the one thing I have set to follow. As soon as that fucking game drops, I'm getting it, because it is good. Is good. 
Alright, well... <laughs> Here we go. In the stream right, I guess. Alright man, I'll see you later. Thanks for joining and uh, thanks for stopping by and this Anime Friday and I'll see y'all later.